okay so today uh, uh, you can say our objective would be uh, to get uh, some examples from where we are going to read data from online so generally mm -hmm. uh, data can be offline and online two kind of data where you can get data right offline right. data offline data offline data means uh, data available in your local system right see the mm -hmm. hard disk and online that means that data is not available on your machine that is available on your internet okay so all the file system whatever we last couple of classes three four classes whatever we did that all are related to the offline data, right that means all the files you are writing are your local machine c drive d drives and reading data from the c drive d drive right but nowadays uh, many data are available on the internet or particular url so how we are going to read data from the url right mm -hmm. okay so let us example let us any example could be let's uh, go to google and let's uh, java doc okay mm -hmm. java api okay anything you can say right so if you mm -hmm. search uh, maybe this is the website available here so this is the one thing you are going to uh, read from the internet right so this mm -hmm. information can be read my java application and maybe store in my local machine even our internet not working i can look this documentation right right so mm -hmm. let's this is the uh, one of the example let's, this url i want to read the data whatever the written here right so this is uh, as you know this is known as a concept of a you there are two terminology you say url right and sometimes you know this is the url right and sometimes you are i right you are i so these two terminology java have a two classes sometimes say url url means uniform resource locator right and the uri means uniform resource identifier so generally these two java have a both classes you know, java dot net dot net mm -hmm. means you are going to access the networks data right from the internet right so this due to the package java dot net dot uri ever so generally java preferable way say you can use this uri class url is also you can use mm -hmm. but are the deprecated in some let's say example here so here say mm -hmm. hey, url equal to new and let's mm. url mm. you can here you can pass here so what are the website link mm. this is the, the links i want to access right and here mm. you can also do here right right but notice this is a deprecated method this is deprecated since in 2020 release java mm. suggested please avoid to use java dot url class mm. instead of this instead of this class you can mm. use uri right oh, okay okay so mm. you can uh use mm. anish can you just switch uh can is uh just uh mm. off the microphone mm. we're getting some sound right is it clear so it is also accessible uh, but uh, preferable way you can use this way right and this is the preferable way okay so both we have option but these are so we have to follow the java guidelines right right uh, they are deprecated since 2020 and now we are using the java 21 right so we have to just switch the guidelines. Can you just request Anis can switch uh, off the microphone? Oh, I can message him. Message him, yes. Okay. So please, uh, for accessing any URL, you have to use these two classes. The best option, always mm -hmm. use the URI part. Why? Because Java suggested. Because these are the deprecated mm -hmm. classes, right? 
you know deprecated means in coming future maybe java 20 21 22 23 these classes might be chance jdk can remove from his package right so good option you have to use right so question is today see whenever we have uri how to read it here so study uh, we have uh, already read it so let's do the multiple approaches simple base approach now you have uh, this class uri so here we method uri dot and get url and say dot open stream and you are as just this variable this is simple now you are getting input stream right? right and you can say input stream means you have to close automatic so here say try try and just here try and close this right here say ki this is my input stream i am i am going to dot dot close was after clock work done here already you know you have input stream how to read data we have a read function right read variable and now while loop while loop say read not equal to minus one and here say extra out uh, and here say character say read right okay read right in this way we know how to read so this is the very simple api look like a file read so notice no this is a file close is not manually needed because this is a try automatically try resource close right so this is also not needed right so this is a line you have to write read data from any sites okay so in the try block what you type input stream right uh, that means you're reading it you're reading reading yes input stream reading from where i am reading from not the file i am reading from this uri right uri okay the uri right yeah uri dot to url well, that means uh, you are using that method yes right because notice here url suggested you can use this method notice here right, this right. you yeah, can write it to url method to get the right. all the url facility right right so due to that i am saying using the two url right and then after that what did you write i can say now uh, this is the url i have url now say i want to is read data read means i have to start input stream so i say just open a stream right okay 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 open stream is a method of the url so they give me the input stream now we have input stream you have a read method read and run the loop while loop right okay so open stream it uh, comes from url come from you are right mm -hmm. okay and after that you just run it and notice key this is the simple way reading data from your online mm -hmm. all the data are written right 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 mm -hmm. there is no any just only change from here previously you are typing mm -hmm. offline your file system c drive d drive now i am passing here you are right right and even let's see, I want to write data in this our uh, file system, right? So you can say here, I want to declare another variable, right? So files dot new output is Let's see, I want to save this information in my local, right? So the file put me it's a path of let's get D drive colon colon that is the oracle dot dot oracle HTML. Okay, you know, I know this is the HTML file, right? This is the right. HTML file. So I say oracle.html, right? Yeah. I just save here. Yeah. Now I can create output stream, output stream for your HTML. Okay. And here say, so notice now we have a, a one output stream. Here say output stream dot here. Just say write data, right? We know already read data. I am just writing in the right. once you notice I am able to read data from this website and also write in my local file system, Oracle, right? So right. all data, whatever here I am displaying, I am able to read from online 
and I am able to store in my local, right? Uh, okay, what is new output stream? I don't think I used it before. It's a file class, no? It started, it started lots of examples. We did files class. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. File class, okay. New output to stream, new buffer reader, new writer, lots of classes he started. Last yeah, yeah, yeah. classes, yeah. NIO.files. Okay. Right, right. Got it, got it. Can it write and here's a just path which path I want to write. So here's the output stream and just write them. Right? Mm, right. In this way, if uh, I comment this line, means I'm not getting output on a screen, but I'm getting mm. on the file. But I want to both. I want to look data on output as well as the mm. right file. Mm. So these right. are the basic simple steps where you can read data from online. Right. Run it. Mm. And notice before in D drive any file, D drive there is no any file, right? And once write code, this file must be generated, right? Right. Let's run it. And we are able to read data, all the data. And let's go. And notice this file generated. Right. And HTML file generated. And let's run it. Uh, just open it. Now, this is the file we created, all the stuff, right? Yes. So, in this way, any things you can read. This is very simple. Whatever the till now uh, we are doing for the offline, similarly for online. Only change not the C drive, D drive, but URI, right? Right. Any doubt, any question? Oh, so you are you are writing, then you are reading. Then first I am reading. First you are reading. Okay. First I read. This is the read, and after reading I am also writing in my file right here. Next then oh, okay, write, okay. right? Okay. First time read, then write. Next again read and again write. While loop, right? Oh, okay, okay. I see, I see. Uh, this loop gonna the first this read up, read and print them and write them right here. Right. And next time again read them, go to the while loop, right? Again write them. Go to the while loop, again write them, right? Again while right. loop. Until you are not getting the end of file, right? Right. Any confusion? So it's a while loop. Uh, so it's a while loop read it by they return the integer byte, right? right but I right. want to display a character, so I just convert ASCII value to. Okay, I got it. I got it. Right? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. This is one. So if you let's explore some more options here, anything you have, let's. Uh... So this is the one, right? There is no problem, right? This is right. the one. Right. And what happened? Yesterday also I discussed one other, right? Dot URL and mm. have a lots of method you can enjoy. Notice this class have a lots of method like you can dot get your host name. Okay. Right. So what is the host name of this URL? You can find out what is the host name, right? So lots of utility method this class have. So notice. Uh, let me, I commented out this print line, okay? Can I just comment out here, right? So unnecessary output are not ready, right? Right. And it is, uh, so notice this is the webs. This is your host name, right? So what is the host name? This is the host name from which you are, read. this is the host name, right? Yeah. Even you can find the complete path, Port, data, all the information you can get from here, right? Sometime you want, right? So lots right. of this class. <laughs> I'm saying to say, in future, sometime I want need, you can get connection, a thirty file. You want to path, you want to port, right? Let's right. the port, right? <laughs> Let's send the port. So you're gonna get the port. <laughs> Let's I comment all the code, right? Unnecessary running the code, right? Take time. Right. And run it. Uh, 
So in this way, lots of just explore the method. Notice that by default they are not exposed port to us, right? Because they are running. This is a simple website, right? Not running eight zero eight something, right? Because it's not right. running on my local, right? So, but you have to explore. Uh, multiple options might be dot get hash path. Let's path, right? A yeah, protocol. So lots we have options. Let's say. URI dot get URL dot let's get check the complete path, right? Right. So we have to explore whenever needed host port. Generally, this is the path. Notice this is the path. This is the host, right? And even you can check other part. URI dot get URI dot get port, right? Uh, port of host file the thirty protocol, right? All the options you have, you can explore, right? Right. What is this? Is the port HTTPS? This is the host name. This is the complete path, right? Right. So okay, let's go. So now let us. Uh, uh, this is notice you have. I got just uh, while reading. I got another method. Now get URL dot get. Notice this is one method like a uh, open connection. This is the another way. I can use this open stream to read the page. Similarly, we have another option, open connection. Right? Let's try this. What they return? They return again input stream. Same. Dot. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, multiple options you have. Same thing here. And same code you can write here at the right? Right. Same I can write here. So now let's uncomment. Okay. Just read it and okay. and here the same input variable. Let's give me the input stream one, right? Input stream. Okay. No, no. This I have to write inside the here, right? Control X. I just write here. Okay. So this another way you can here say input stream one. And just I don't read the right. Just I want to just print it's work or not, right? <laughs> so this is the another way get connection and that input stream, right? Here you check the like a uh, open stream directly. Here we will first open the connection and then get a stream. And the same right. you can get it. So you have to just explore multiple options this URL class has, right? Notice uh get the data. I'll get it. Right. So in this way, also we can do right. Let's explore all the options, right? It's uh, any doubt? The same thing. Nothing. It's different here. Right. Different method you have, right? Right. And uh, let's uh, comment here. And let's okay. Let's explore any URI dot. <laughs> right dot dot get url dot what other options you have get connection you tried uh, protocol host is open stream i try and any other things which are very uh, content what is this method let's uh, get content dot object let's try what this right that's a sound okay print what is this you have to just explore lots of actually I I also don't know all the things, but you have to explore. Right. Yeah, right. Just oh, so this. so I can I can test different yeah. different. Forms. Yes. This is something like uh, sun dot net dot protocol complete the things right here. Mm -hmm. And right. some HTTP input is stream. Then you have to okay, you have to HTTP viral mm -hmm. connection, then this, and then you can stream the data. So lots of right. options they have. We have to just we have to try, right? Right. Uh, any other things which we can? No, that's a, that's a and good option. You can convert URL to URI. This is the method to URI. Convert to URI. To URI right? So these are the methods you have to uh, use for uh, the URI, URI class itself, right? Right. Uh, Notice yesterday, let's revise. Yesterday, we discuss one new class, HTTP client, right? This is the client mm -hmm. another way. One way, 
is this way using the stream right in the stream another way as a request response right here no this here there is no request and response right so yeah not, so it's a different it's, it's, yeah, it's not different, a, different, different, yeah different way so let's say so I started, let's build the client http clients dot new client simply one variable right right and once uh this would we say we have to close let's do in the monster automatic best option IntelliJ also help us this method you can use the try with the resources right because else right. you have to manually call the close method right right do manually here then you have to write the dot close right you want open a connection one close then it's gone right so here say no let's use the latest as java suggested try here try and just run inside a try block and after that okay yeah so now now we have a client so client have a dot send method but notice right. in have a two of the request and body so first we have to prepare the request so let's prepare the request http request right dot take study build now we have a uri we have already uri uri and dot you want to get operation get and dot say build right in this way you can say this is a request right so yeah. i have to pass my request this is the request and i want to respond so http response response dot i want to complete body handler and i want to do have a study notice i try input stream I complete stream let's i want to read one in one line or, or directly right right of stream dot body you return all in one line one variable direct don't look for loop okay well oh in one line so, uh, response how, body. so how do you read this line again this one? okay response body. Okay. so i'm say notice this is the send method take a two parameter send method one is your request another is the response right mm -hmm. Yes, so here say I am this is the, my request. I am saying this is my request. Okay. I already have URI. I want to get. And the response I say, hey, HTTP response, I want to body as a string, two string, right? This is the method. So say right. two string, they written me two string. All the body, right? And just right. you print them right here. That's out. That's out. Response body. So you notice. Here I'm not doing any kind of while loop. All the body you can in one slot, right? Internally they are for us, right? Right. And just run it. You can get the same response using the request and response. This is a request and this is a response, right? Right. And they notice all the body you are getting, right? Right. In one string. And you can just save them or write them, whatever you want, right? Right. Or you can study I say or even you can say uh if you can study using the while loop, right? Say right. So comment them. Both are multiple options you have writing code. Now instead of here say notice I am not interested to get complete. I uh, here say I want to stream. So here say notice instead of off stream you have a dot, you notice I have another method of input stream right so say i want to read the input stream so input stream okay and then right. you say i want input stream dot variable out now you notice that your input stream response right input stream response input stream response right and here say a dot get body and then you can get the stream, right? Oh. Variable. Now your stream. And now, 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 now you know how to uh, do it using the while loop, right? Similarly, like here, right? Oh. Same code you can write here as you like, right? Yes, yeah. say same code I am going to write here. Okay. Oh. So here, right. this, See, I am going to write in a 
control x and say input stream here right now we have an input stream to right I here say while loop read this this is also way right yesterday i explained this one right using the right. all the commented let's run it will also so for reading data from online you have multiple options and notice all the value we are putting right right so anyone you can try right maybe you can try this or this whatever you want right you can try this or this but multiple right okay. yeah you can try any one but the simple things this is the class uri you have to whatever the online data you want to read just pass here and after that you get the uri and uri have a multiple function open screen you can do or you have a open connection you can do right or right. you can http client client say hey this is the client i want to send the request and response we prepare request while the request you say this is my uri i want same uri right right i want to get the bill like look like api get api post api look like so here look like the objective request response like api testing right right here like just input stream Right. So internally, all the things is internally implemented by itself. Now this class, I am reading one line. Right. Notice here, all the things is done hide to us. Right. And right. directly, I have given mm -hmm. them all the body, whatever the this website data have one 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 line. Right? No while loop. Right. Even you can use the while loop. Right. Both we have options. Right. Sometimes I want to only five line, yeah, two line, yeah, three line. I can break the loop. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. But here they say read the, all the value. Maybe bigger website. They have lots of data, right? Right. So these are the uh, different, different you can say API or methods available to read data from online. Read. From read data from online. Online, right? Right. So we have to prefer a variable. You can first create the URI, whatever URI right. you want. And after you have a URI, then you can get the URL of that. And after that, you have a multiple method. Just open a stream and read the data. Similarly, right. open connection and stream and read the data. Right. right. You can use another way, like a HTTP client. Hey, client, I want to send this is my request. Means first request will this is the URI HTTP request dot URI build. This is my request. I send the request and what is the response? I want all the response in the two string. Right? So mm -hmm. print them. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes no no, I want to don't want to all. I want to just mm -hmm. manually while loop and break until I want, right? So say okay, say okay, you can use the off stream. And you can just dim body and stream and break whatever you want, right? Right. So these are just like a code look like a similarly your local reading data, right? Only the challenges here you're not referring to any file, you are referring to particular URI. Universal resource identifier, right? Is it any doubt? Any confusion? Yeah, it's clear. And here you can pass the whole data available from your browser here. The browser also doing some coding, right? Whenever you say browser is a one software, you notice this is the browser is a one software, right? Whenever I typing anything here, www.google.com, yeah, what whatever the right? Com, whatever I'm typing, mm -hmm. you are writing some code. This is browser is also one software. Mm -hmm. and they find all the data and display in the HTML format, right? So whatever the things you want, you can just do it. internally. This browser software written code for you. Just you are look like I am not writing any code, but this software help us. Browser is one software for reading data. 
or human readable format right <laughs> also we are able to read data from the internet right if there is no browser maybe linux was in some machine you don't have any browser so can you not read data we can read but maybe by command prompt by tool by language by software right so these are <laughs> software if you install your machine now they provide the capability to read data from the online anywhere whatever the url you must mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. same thing here mm -hmm. this is the internally code something this is a java way to read right mm -hmm. maybe browser maybe google chrome mm -hmm. or firefox or mm -hmm. any they have implemented some different different streaming right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything other? Anish? Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Are you anything else you want to for today? Any doubt, any question for the today session? Yeah, yeah. Today's, uh, today's was okay so far. Okay. So let's try and if any doubt question, we have to connect, okay? Sure, sure. Okay, then we can close the session. No problem. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Take care. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.